Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The trick is, they have to be. Yeah, that's that is too deep. See, too that's deep. that's into the meat, only okay. into that. Okay. The you can get into that, so but not. Yeah. See, that is perfect. That is a perfect cut. Pork roast in Denmark it has the skin on it. Yeah. So it becomes crackling. So, so yeah. Connie's going to try and prepare one for the first time. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, <laughs> the first time with me. Yeah. Chop off this and drain it. Yeah, she's draining. And while she's doing that, I will make some preparation for our frigadella, like Danish meatballs. Frigadella. Frigadella. Yeah, it's going to taste nice. Not gonna be making matoke. No matoke. It's Corona time. Yeah, you can only get that from Copenhagen. Where the Corona is. And it's everywhere, but... It's mostly in Copenhagen, actually. Yeah. Now, coarse salt needs to go into each and every of them and like have a little all the way through in that all is, of them. That is hard. Well, my, uh, if I were you, I would do like this, pour a lot here, and then I usually open. Yes, it's time consuming. I can't open all of them. Yes. Precision wise woman. Pretend you're German or Japanese. Except I'm African. Yeah. And that to Uganda. We don't we don't like stress. Don't yeah. stress us. Ah. There'll be a Danish quality inspection afterwards, Connie. You know those people, they cannot be bribed or anything, so don't do any fun stuff. I'll bribe them. How will you bribe, huh? I got my lessons right from where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That does not work here. This is called Echgodo in Uganda. Echgodo. Say Echgodo. Echgodo. Eh, no, no, no. Echigodo. Echigodo. Yeah. Echigodo. It's got it. Thick skin. Yeah. Echigodo. 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 It's the tastiest. It is. If you cook it right, it's very tasty. If you cook it wrong... What, what about on the other side? Should I flip it? No? no, 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 no. You just need to like look through all the lines and make sure you have not forgotten any and that all the cuts are made properly and... This is hard. Of course it is. Holes and I've cut some of it. Some of it much. is way too deep. Wow. Wow! What are you doing, woman? I that is perfect. That is also perfect. That is not really perfect. Most of them are good. Okay, now what? Now you need to remove all the excess salt from the top. How? But if it was me, I would just... Like that? It needs to be gone, so you need to push it over the edge, I think. Like that? Is it gone now? No, it's not. There, 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 there. No! It needs it, to be perfect. It, it, no, it cannot be perfect. Nothing yes, is perfect. It can. This is precision cooking, woman. You know? See? What are you inspecting? What do you mean if you've done a good job? Yes, now it's okay. Now you take that cloth and pat it so it's dry. Yeah. No. Now you put it up there, and then you put like this amount of water in the bottom without hitting that. Cool. Then you put it... Uh, I will show you fancy tricks. Meanwhile, I am making patty or whatever for the frigadilla. I'm mixing onion, egg, minced pork, flour, some onion, salt, pepper, and then I will mix it nicely. And then I will put it in the fridge for a while before we actually cook. Then. Okay, take that thing. We put it in there. I turn on the the what is that called? the circulating air thing. 150 degrees Celsius. And now this is going in the meat because this is, will make it easier for us to cook it nicely. 
Yes. We want it to beep. Then the core of the meat will be 55 and then we will turn up the heat. Now it's 10 degrees. When it hits 55, we will turn up the heat a lot to make the top part crackling. One eternity later. It's beeping! That means the pork roast flesh style is done. Wow! Is it crispy? Ah, no, it's not. It's not? That is not good. If you look good, it is not. Okay. Okay. Let's do the, the desperate thing. Okay, now the hot part is here because the more we cook it now, the less moist it will be inside. But right now we're trying to sacrifice a little moist to get it crackling on top and hot. So okay. I will turn on the grill. Now, Connie, time to fry frigadilla. Okay. Danish meatballs and the fish. And let's ask the kids how many want fish. Do you want fish? No. You don't want fish? No. You like fish? Not that kind. Not that kind. Only the horrible mukani. Yeah. <laughs> this is the fish, not a plant. Okay. 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 Oh. I don't like that thing. The three ones. The three potato kids, they wanted them. And then Isaac and uh, Nana ended up being curious and wanted to taste it. So. Oh, Cook some horse. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> some horsey. Cut to the TikTok of me riding Connie while she's a horse. Now you decided to cook a horse. Now I decided to cook my horse. Are you worried, Connie? Are you worried today? Huh? No. <laughs> okay. We have this. It's a local horse meat. Yes, it is. I don't think the kids are going to be happy about us. Oh, <laughs> no. But they will be happy they're not here Why to be Why do you have forced. lipstick on your lips? She's been kissing me all day. My lips, that is not even lipstick. They're all sore and swollen <laughs> now because she's been kissing me so much. Oh, I need eyes on them. <laughs> yeah, but I think the kids will be happy about not being here and being forced to eat the horse. <laughs> Sorry kids, we're gonna cook the horse yes. and eat it. I have never had horse before in my life. How about you, Karen? I, I know you eat weird things. I so. have never ridden a horse, let alone eat it. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat a horse before I ride one. Yes. Never ridden a horse. Yes. I have jokes for that. Yeah, just keep them in your head, okay? Yeah. So what are we going to use the horse meat for? I have an idea. She has an idea. Let's see. We could use this spice. Karahi kosht. Let's pretend that was right. Yeah, or you could use this one. Korma. I like korma. I know that thing. The karashi. Maybe we should try this. I've never tried that. We have never tried this. Just so it's clear, YouTube, we're not getting paid for this. This is just us doing a commercial for nothing. <laughs> Don't come after us. Especially you guys at Danish State. You sue everyone. 
gonna have it with rice. What do you think about brown rice? I think it's the most boring rice in the whole world. And why? But do... it's healthy. Yes. Says, Says me. Have so, pots here. Yes, and today I'm not doing any cooking, Connie. I will only be I don't the videographer. Okay. Wow, his videography <laughs> skills are horrible. <laughs> hey, 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 woman! And now we're filming the light. I'm sorry, but they are horrible. I know. They're very nice. Shut up. You guys out there, are you African women like this? I thought. I think I have to talk to her auntie. This behavior. Have you paid? How many goats have you paid yet? <laughs> I can I can give them some horse meat. <laughs> or you can give them horses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can ride the horse there and then they can eat it. Yeah. You're rich. Is that good? I heard like cows are, are not as cheap as uh, cows. Cows Ca are cheap. Cows were cheap. Like yeah. when. Yeah, we visited someone uh, the other day and we were told about like prices of cows in Uganda. I was thinking, my God, if I could buy a whole cow, just a meat, not a live one, just a dead one for the prices he was mentioning. <laughs> we, should, we should go there and just buy a I ton mean, of cows. I don't think we have tomatoes. I'm, I'm just, I'm not gonna follow like the recipe here. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Okay, so we just found out that the horse meat has to cook for one and a half hour. Yeah, okay, let's cook it at least for an hour. No, one and a half it's safe. Okay, well, I'm up for that, but I know your patience. I am very patient. Or lack of it. <laughs> we add the tomatoes, the Many angles down. You're filming still, smart They are uh, impressive, extraordinary. We don't have to deal with the bones. Put the whole thing in. Ah. Not fishing. Enough. Oh, I. Th but Connie, I just heard you're the most patient woman in the world. Mm, it's for some things. Ah, that that's added now, huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yes. Some things, no. Most things, yes, but everything. Such what? a good angle, this one. Oh, wow, finally found a good angle. <laughs> wow. Hey, here's another one. Yeah, no, the cage said you should have. What? Huh? Uh, Somebody translate. Nobody will translate. <sighs> she being obscene again, I have that problem with her constantly. And I'm gonna use the whole packet. Whole packet. Yeah. Isn't it made for them? Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think for one kilo. I think. Yeah, that is about oh. what we have. Okay. Now the horsey <laughs> will be running around in the pot. <laughs> One and a half hour. Okay. Yeah. My God, we're going to eat. Well, a lot earlier than yesterday. Still. <laughs> it needs salt, or it already has salt. Yes, it has salt. Okay. So Chili we'll... is the one they have the most of, and salt is the second one. Okay. There's a lot of salt. So we'll cook this for one and a half hour. This is a food review. Horse meat, good or not? Next, it will be snails. I am up for that, Connie. Yeah, but I'll not but be the one. But she's a chicken. I'll not be the one. <laughs> you ate a clam, Connie. A mussel. Ah, uh, yeah. That wasn't so good. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. People should not do that. Oh, don't put you. Oh, that's. One so and weird. a half hour? Are you kidding me? It's going to be all watery. No, no, no. 
that's the point then it will boil for one and a half hour and all the soup will but it was like the perfect texture before yeah that but thing but, but way too thin just, just leave it up to me it's all gonna work you're going out. to boil away all that yes one and a half hour. are you kidding me that's a long time we'll even have to add more water that thing will be watery you think so i definitely think so My you're not you're not very well. good at uh, making curries are you i'm good at textures no i'm yeah curry textures are you good at making Doesn't curries it shouldn't be watery it shouldn't are you are you good at making curries it no it's gonna be thick so thick you won't even believe it it will not one hour later it is thick a little thicker would be nice but it will be nice good job connie and it smells amazing i'm really looking it, forward this can get to eating your horse it can get thicker Yeah. Yeah. Keep the horsey. Horsey. Yeah. Okay. I try to not think about what it is. <laughs> if I start thinking about it, Connie, I will eat up, end up eating something else. It's actually, it tastes like um, beef. It does. Ooh. It is tasty. Oh, oh. It is tasty. I like it. And it's hot. This it's sauce. Hot. Yeah. It is wow. Hot. It is wow. Very nice. Very nice taste. And mm -hmm. you're right. The texture of the meat is very much like um, beef. good beef. Yeah. Yeah. This is nice. So we like it. Yeah. Go eat all the horses. It tastes good. Yes, it does. Hmm. I'm not disappointed. No, I'm not either. Hmm. And it was actually pretty cheap. Yeah. From a real butcher, like a good one, mm -hmm. and it was a good price, cheaper than beef. From now, you're just gonna be eating horse meat. I don't think you should tell the kids on YouTube. It is tasty. It is tasty, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have any weird taste. I don't worry, no. it would have some taste, but I would think, oh no, horse, horse, horse. <laughs> it tastes like beef, mm -hmm. good beef. Mm -hmm. Lean. Yeah. Not too fatty. That was nice. Yeah, go eat some horse, people. Hmm. Yeah, that was nice. Maybe you should, we should serve this at our wedding, honey. <laughs> horse. Yes. And the way things are right now, we're worried we will not be able to have guests. Yeah. Only 10 people are allowed to gather for now. Yes. But. And yeah. we're also worried about the honeymoon. Oh, yeah. We bought plane tickets for Bali, but right now we can't even go to Germany. We can't go anywhere. All the borders no. are closed. So we are really hoping it will get opened up. Yeah. yeah. I think that is it for us. Now we're going to watch the Tiger King. Maybe they also eat some horses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell us what you guys are watching during this quarantine time because... Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are watching Tiger King and so far it's pretty interesting. And we finished Osaka. That yes. was good. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what are you guys watching during quarantine and would you eat horse? And have you eaten horse? Next he's gonna eat the cat. Yeah, I'm fighting with the cat. <laughs> fighting with this tiger. <laughs> yeah. See you guys next week. Mm -hmm.